has a really bizarre cable that's really hard to get that links it all together. And the sequencer is capable of stepping through your eight banks of these eight buttons. What it is, it's not a sequencer at all. It's the first, I think, the first voltage controlled memory. So you've got two envelope generators, each with delay. You've got a filter voltage and an offset because you want a slightly uh, uh, different range if you're going to be tweaking a filter than an oscillator. And you got three oscillators, and so you can tune it. So you, you calibrate this into your ARP 2600 or your mini MOOC, which you've hacked up. And I learned how to hack my mini MOOC uh, through the manual for this, which is how you can tap into each of the three oscillators. Calibrate it, tune it, set up the sounds and the envelope, play the keyboard, and then write it to memory. So he sold a whole bunch of these, and he sold a whole bunch of the sequencers, and that gave him the money to make the Profit 5. So what you're looking at really is the prototype for the memory for the Profit 5. So I think it's really cool. It's, it still works. There's a lithium battery in it. Um, I, I had heard that uh, Terry Riley used one with a Profit 5 and put the same patch in everything and then tweak the dials just a little bit and then would step through while he was playing his hypnotic patterns. But what you were hearing was slightly different all the time. So that's a really cool one. And uh, in this old... Uh,